Yo, what's up, Knights of Apollo? Today we got a short little video, and I really do hope you're ready for battle because a new game has just been announced, and it looks amazing. It's called King Makers. It's uh, It's got a little bit of everything in it. It looks like it's got strategy where you're commanding troops like Total War. It's got city management where you're building up cities like Manor Lords. And then it has uh, battles where you fight as the individual soldier, which reminds me, of course, is of Banner Lord. But here's the catch. You know, here's the catch. You got modern weapons. You're fighting with modern weapons in a medieval setting. Guys, I don't care who you are. I know for a fact, if you watch my channel at least, at least 10 times when you were a kid, you brought this up. You talked about if you had a machine gun in a medieval battle or, or, or battle with swords and shields, you know, whether that be like a, a Roman battle, whatever. This has come up and now our fantasy is coming true, okay? So essentially, by the looks of this trailer, this is all speculation, of course. Looks like you travel back in time with modern weapons and you try to change the present, I assume. And like, you know, this is so this is such a great idea because like I said, everybody's talked about this. What if you had an AK, you know, in it, it could even be a fantasy battle like Helm's Deep. If you had an AK, you know, just on the walls, just, kah, 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 you know, like the Urukai. But uh, yeah, this looks a lot of fun. So what we're going to do today, guys, is I guess react to the, the trailer and I'm going to pause it here and there and just kind of do some, you know, speculate some things. Again, I don't have any knowledge, more knowledge than you guys have. So don't expect like I have like some insider trader information or something. I really don't. So I'm just going to speculate and kind of just project, you know, what I feel like the game's going to be like. Um, again, this is just my speculation. If you haven't seen the trailer, go watch it first. Cause I'm going to be like pausing and talking and stuff. So uh, I'm not going to play it through without talking so uh just do that first and then come back but anyways let's get this started it's a two minute trailer let's uh let's see what this is all about we don't know where he came from but i'll tell you he built our village into a city all right so already you can see that there's uh some some city management stuff here i don't know like it doesn't look like it's like super detailed I think it's going to be pretty generic. That's the kind of the the negatives of these like jack of all trade games is that they're pretty shallow in all the different mechanics. You know what I mean? Like, uh, that you they, you cover so many different mechanics and features in the game that something has to be sacrificed, and usually it's not going to be like super in depth, complicated city management type stuff. Again, I could be wrong, but uh, I that's what I'm assuming. Um, another thing about this game, when I first heard about it and saw it, um, I thought, oh, this is going to be one of those like epic battle simulator type games where it's just like, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Because like in those, it's like a big sim battle, but it's so like goofy and it's just like two clashes of big blobbed troops. You know what I'm talking? It just looks very cheap and very bland and very silly and it doesn't feel like a real battle. But I was pleasantly surprised with this video, so let's just keep going. He's the one who trained our army, who grew us into an empire. I don't know where he's from, but if you think you can stop him, you're already dead. Look at that. So right out of the gate, I, I thought that was awesome. Not only because, again, like I love it seems like there's a story here going like it's more than just, you know, some kind of simulator where you have guns and you're fighting medieval people. Now, some of the movement of the troops here kind of does give me the battle simulator vibe, if you know what I mean, like um, kind of at the beginning here when they're storming this like castle, the trebuchet looks cool. Oh, hold on. My uh, I guess my Internet sucks. Yeah, so like right here, this kind of gives me epic battle simulator vibes here. You know, it just looks like a very like just simple uh, program here that just charges thousands of troops in one area and they do very simple uh, animations and stuff. Um, I, I think it's it's I think it's a little bit better, but it does kind of give off a little bit of that vibe. And you kind of have to have that for a game like that, you know, I don't know where he's from. I mean, it just it looks very like. You know, like they're very in sync and and it's just again, I think you just with the technology now, you kind of have to have something like that to have a game like this. 
But if you think you can stop it. But it doesn't look that bad. This is clearly just like that's an animation. This looks great though. Look at I mean the battle scene looks awesome there. I think it looks fantastic. I love this like old pickup truck he's charging in here. This is like this is like you can get so creative with different weapons and items to use in a medieval setting. Um, so looking at the castle, looks like this is some fantasy world. I don't think this is going to be like, it would be kind of cool if you could go to different historic events and, um, and try to turn like, you know, the American civil war or, you know, war of roses, or you try to change history or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, this is, I mean, it's cool. Like a little fantasy world castle looks cool. Grenades got your shotgun. And, and the the effects feel really nice. They feel powerful. It feels heavy. Um, it doesn't feel like you know. It, it it seems like they really cared with the like the gun effects and stuff. Nice grenade launcher. <laughs> Oh, he's got it. Looks like he's using a sword. See, that's what I, I like about that. Like, I it would be cool, to, and I think he is wearing partial medieval armor. Armor. It'd be cool for him to wear uh, actual medieval armor uh, along with these modern weapons because, like, of the time, yet yeah, like the medieval armor would be very effective. Like this helmet here. I mean, I'm sure it would be effective to an extent, but. I think it'd be cooler if he just wore... It looks almost like he's wearing a bulletproof vest. It's like, this kind of stuff would be unnecessary, I guess. Or is this chainmail, maybe? Maybe it's like a combination. I don't know. It's It looks like chainmail. Um, but yeah, it would be cool to see him, like, decked out in, like, you know, steel armor or whatever. Plated armor. Um, just because that would be pretty effective against the enemy weapons. You know what I mean? Uh, more so than a bulletproof vest. Um, but yeah. So, you know, side note. Maybe you can there's there's a little bit of like the command of units and stuff seems very simple but it is possible and you got different units of troops this gives me totally epic battle simulator vibes where it's just like total chaos and just like a big ai army running mindlessly up the I, again it's kind of like what you have to do in these types of games um but it still looks pretty good Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He gave our people a future. I hope he can save his own. So that was that's an interesting line there. He gave our people a future. I hope he can save his own. So I feel like there's some there's a bit of a story to this where uh you're you have to change it's like back to the future or whatever where you have to go and and change something. Uh, that will affect the present or or whatever. You got okay. This is interesting. Uh, the the one thing that really stood out from from the scene here is you got something that very much looks like Napoleon here. Uh, if you noticed. This is like the this ending here I thought was pretty cool cuz one you're going into the future. I don't know how much you can do in the future. I don't know if there's if it's just going to be story stuff in the future or if you're actually going to be fighting. And then your weapons will be like dated. You'll have like old weapons. Maybe you can get futuristic weapons and bring them to the medieval battlefield like lasers or wh or whatever. But I also noticed this right here very much is giving me the the Napoleon vibe. Uh, you, of course, you got something that very looks like, very much looks like the Napoleon N. You got the bees too. They, the French ro royalty, what often use bees, to, uh, you know, a sign of royalty or whatever. So this is giving me like if Napoleon won, <laughs> won the Napoleonic Wars and be remained emperor and his bloodline would carry on or whatever. Uh, you know, uh, through France and 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 whatnot. Um, but yeah, that's. That's what it's kind of given me the vibe of. Again, at before it looked like a fantasy castle. 
Because, like, uh, let's see. I don't know if we can see the castle over here with the flags on it. Um, uh, It's kind of, like, right here. This... I mean, maybe um, maybe this is an actual sigil of a historic... I mean, I I don't know every historical sigil, so maybe that is a real faction. I don't know. Some of the symbol, some of the shields and stuff of these armies look like Polish. Like Polish knights and stuff. And then you got like this Saint... Uh, like Saint George Cross or whatever. So maybe you've got, you've got some English stuff going on there. I don't really know um, if it's set. I mean, this looks... Let me see if I can get... A clear image. I think at the beginning he like shotguns this like really big knight. Like if I was a knight, this would be me. Oh, don't load. Come on. Yeah, so this is uh it's a little hard to see, but it definitely looks like I mean it's a mosh it like it looks like uh you know, you got the three lions here. This almost looks like the Polish Eagle. Uh, again, it's hard to tell. Um it could just be inspired by history or something, and that's what you know, the uh, Napoleon N that we got at the end here, whenever it loads, there we go, might also just be something inspired by history and might not actually be Napoleon. Um, but that, I thought that was cool. So Kingmakers, uh, wish list it now on Steam, guys. It's made by Redemption Road and Tiny Build. Um, it looks really cool. Uh, it really does look good. Um, it's not just like a cheesy, cheap battle simulator where you have a gun and everything feels weightless and kind of silly. And it looks genuine. It, it, I mean, this is just a great idea. It's just a great idea. Uh, and uh, I, I know you guys have talked about this at least once. Uh, forget about weapons, though. What if you just gave some generals like a walkie-talkie, you know, and then that would change the course of everything. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to wish list it because I think it does look interesting. This is not like a sponsorship or anything. I'm going to wish list it as well. Uh, but yeah, that supports a game a ton on Steam. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.